Hello friend, welcome back. Change in our interface of the website, I mean basically UI change is very very common and it is in fact like constant. And due to that change our selectors and hex path used to break a lot. And this becomes a very very tedious tedious task and in fact like it is the one of the like uh, most common region which makes our script to become dead or like back in the backlog so how can we fix that all x path and selectors just in a single click because nobody wants to waste a lot of time nobody wants to just copy x path and that each and every selector which you have written uh, to verify individually like one by one right i mean it's very tedious task for an example suppose we have this script written here this is a very simple basic script i have written so this script is for let's say this website selector sub okay and now some changes ui changes happen like i have uh, added a new tool or moved this element from here to here or something happened okay so ui got changed now how can we verify that all our x path are working fine all our selectors working fine and if any one of them got changed we can fix them but today how we do generally like we copy x path like this one x path go back to script suppose my script got changed we paste this x path here and verify okay this is one matching node then uh, you verify again one let's say we want to verify this one and uh, suppose this is working or not working how can we make sure that all these x path are working or not so this is showing zero here so we will have to fix this right so how can we make sure that let's say there are thousands of x path in this script and we want to verify all of them and just let's say because of ui change five six x path got change and but we don't know like out of these thousands of x path which three or five six those x paths are which got changed because of ui so either one way like what generally people do today is that like you execute your script wherever it failed you go back fix that x path again execute fix that x path second one then again execute so like that like that you do but that is like too much time waste that just to verify each and x path again and again you have to copy paste the script sorry you have to uh, like rerun re-execute this script then find out where it is breaking then fix that x path that is too much time taking so how can we do that just in a click so what you have to do here you can use the x path healing feature of selector sub to fix all the x path of your script just in a one click like let's say this is your script it could be your locator page or anything that's a, that's absolutely fine you need not to copy paste x path one by one you can just simply copy everything wherever your x path is written let's say we have our x paths are written inside this script this page don't worry that whether you have copied it wrong or right wherever your x path it is that part should be copied properly now copy come here in selector sub now here what you have to do you have to go to that page on for which page you are verifying your selectors right so these selectors and x paths are for practice page so we will go here practice page and then there we will verify our selectors and x path so right click click on inspect and here selector sub now in selector sub on the right side you will see this fifth icon which is x path healing button here click on this there is an added button click on this and now paste your complete script here and you just have to click on submit you see all the x path has been fetched from your script and it is showing here the result matching one matching or zero matching so what you what we can do now we can just simply click on edit button see whether they are working or not and then we can just like fix them let's say there could be some issue we can figure it out what could be the issue here like a space is there so then you can hit enter and still it is failing so basically now we can verify how these x path will work and what is the issue so the main challenge was like how to figure it out that which all selectors and x path like here we have made it a space so now click on this it is showing one matching node here this is working fine and here there was a space so this was not working so that was the issue 
so this way you can fix all your x path just in a single go what you have to do let me show it again first copy your complete script or locator page wherever your x paths are written copy them go to that page on which for which those selectors are those x paths are then open selectors hub here click on x path healing button click on edit button and paste your complete script and submit boom all your x paths has been verified and showing the result here you can simply copy edit or fix them and then you can replace in your script now you must be thinking okay we are not using this kind of script where the driver dot find element is there no you might be using something like at the rate find by or you are cypress working with cypress you might be using cy dot x path right so in that case what you have to do just copy again your script come here click on edit paste your script and here suppose your script is like your x paths are written something like at the find at find by x path is equal to something like this so what you have to do you copy that x path command here and that command you have to paste here and wherever you have written x path just replace that with x path value and here it is showing the example as well so don't worry you would be able to understand that what you need to do and this is just one time task for your project for forever because that value will be saved here this command will be saved here whatever you do now click on submit it has fetched all the x path from that script and showing the result so this way you can simply verify all your x path irrespective of whether you are using selenium cypress playwright or any particular framework you are using you can verify them just in a go suppose if you have just written x path there is no command in that like this in that case you can verify them as well copy all of them click on edit paste here and here you have to just turn off this command because there is no command so you can turn off that and now you click on submit all the x path has been verified and showing result here one 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 now suppose you must be thinking all of them are showing one 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 let me show you some of them uh, by changing some value like let's say t we removed here s we removed here now it should show two x path as zero matching node copy this come here and paste this submit so you see that here it is showing zero zero now suppose you click on this let's say this one and here it is showing zero let us fix this about now it is one you can copy this and go back to your script and you can fix this x path that this was the change simple so this is how you can verify all your x path and see all your x path using the x path healing feature of selector sub just in a single click whenever there is a ui change happen now you must be thinking that what if like there are because suppose here we were having x path x path so it has verified all of them now if you want to verify other selectors as well not just the x path you want to verify class name id name link text like this you must be thinking that everything should be verified in a single go it shouldn't be like just x path so if you have to verify all the selectors irrespective of whether that is id class name or what that also can be done for that you will have to use the selectors of pro in selectors of pro we have the x path healing feature don't worry selector sub pro is pretty much free so uh, it is just a coffee cost 2.5 dollar per month so you can anybody can take it and uh, you can check out like how uh, selector sub pro how you can take it from here so that i'm not discussing you can always check out on selector sub uh, website for pro version how you can upgrade and take it now here you have the selector sub pro so what you have to do there is a selectors healing feature right there you can see in here click on this button and suppose we will go back and this is the script copy this and paste it here here you have more command you you will not have to type already the pre commands are set as per your requirement like here our command is at the rate find by x path is equal to this at the rate find by uh, some selectors name like link text is equal to this so this command is sim something similar like this so what you can do just click on submit and boom you see the result it has verified x path class name id name everything it is showing here 
so this way you can verify not just xpath even your selectors as well and fix them suppose we change some of them here like let us change this uh, class name we remove this name we change it now we have changed it so so here it should show some of them as zero matching node click on submit and here you see that that class name is showing zero name is showing zero because those are zero matching node so this way you can verify all your xpath and selector just in one click suppose you must be thinking what if like we are using cypress don't worry let's say this is you are using cypress copy this come here paste this and here you click and you see that cy dot selector and click on submit this way you would be able to verify cypress selectors i mean if you are using cypress then you can verify your xpath and selectors for that as well if you are using playwright or any kind of framework like at the rate find by at cache lookup and all like this this also you can verify you just copy this come here paste and you can select the command whatever it is like let's say in this case this is at the rate find by you select this submit and boom just in one click and all your selectors will be verified whatever it will be like suppose you are using by.id or something like this you copy them come here paste it now select by dot and submit this way you will be able to verify all your commands and everything it's very simple very easy just straightforward whatever you are using anything you are using you would be able to verify from here you just have to copy and paste them in selectors up whether you uh, if you just want to verify xpath you can use the free version if you want to verify all of them you can use the pro version pro version is very cheap it is just free almost free just a coffee cost so here you can see that and you can also check out like what are the free and premium features and how you can get it started you can take a free trial and enjoy these features so this way you will be able to uh, fix your automation script whenever there is a ui change happen just in few clicks hope you like this feature and uh, you will be able to save some of the, some of your time using this feature and definitely it will help a lot thank you thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and like and share with others thank you we'll see you in the next video